The second technology announcement that I'd like to make is shadow play. Shadow play is something we've been talking about. Shadow play is basically a DVR for your PC gaming, for your GeForce. The thing that's really special about shadow play, and the reason why it was such an extraordinary piece of work, is because you want to record your game without affecting your game. It would be a real problem if by recording your game, you overloaded the CPU in the system to the degree that your gameplay suffers. If, that's ha if that happens, nobody would ever turn it on because the gameplay is simply too important. Your goal is to play to win. You surely wouldn't want to record yourself losing. And so shadow play, its unique feature is that by using Kepler, the encoder, and by integrating the entire software stack, the concurrent recording, deep into the pipeline. No copies, no system copies, no frame copies, no overloading the CPU, no taxing the CPU. As a result, the overhead of shadow play is incredibly low. This is an area that I would love for you guys to measure. Measure shadow play, which only works on Kepler, and do the same with other recording stacks and measure the amount of frames that are dropped as a result of it. So the first thing is shadow play allows you to be always on because the tax is so low. You can record at 1080p. It records the last 20 minutes if you record it in automatic. If you would like to go into manual, you can record for as long as you like. I think for Windows 7 it goes to 4 gig and I think for Windows 8 it goes to as large as your disk drive can, can afford. And this is a wonderful way for you to share with your friends and capture your greatest moments. This is also available on October 28th. Okay? But what's really, really cool is when you combine shadow play and game stream. When you take these two technologies and you put it together and you integrate it with the number one gaming broadcast platform. Twitch. All of a sudden, you can share like you've never done before. Today we're announcing that GeForce Experience streams directly to Twitch. Super easy integration, super easy user interface, very, very low overhead from your gameplay. Record, capture at 1080p, stream it out to Twitch no effect on your gameplay, and let everybody watch you as you dominate the opponents. Now to help you experience this, let's have, uh, let's have Tap come up here. I saw Tap in the hey. audience earlier. Hey Tap, hey. Tom is gonna demonstrate this to us. Tell us about this thing that you're gonna demonstrate. Okay. I mean, I think it's just absolutely amazing. I, I will, do I have a mic on? Mic's on? Okay, so, um, what we're going to do today is just give you a live demo of this new capability. It's going to be out before the end of the year. And what we're doing is making it super easy to stream to Twitch. It is. Oh, this is oh, check, check. That's much better. So uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be super easy to stream to Twitch. Yeah, you're a big guy. <laughs> wow, this is, this is slightly I feel, I feel, I feel. I feel this way. Yeah, there there you go. Go. There okay. Go. So, uh, okay. Oh, this is really intimate. <laughs> boss's boss hugging me, and I've got a guy in my hand. Love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> All right, so sure. the way this is going to work is and, super and, and Tap thinking, there's no way I'm paid enough for this. <laughs> I thought I had I'm definitely paid enough for this. <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, it's easy one-click broadcast, so you can set up your account. So why don't we bring up a demo, and we'll show you how this works. So can we bring up, uh, oh, ex excellent. Excellent. Hey, that's much better. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, bring up Joe's uh, uh, GeForce Experience. Now, this is our next uh, big release of GeForce Experience. I mentioned it's going to be out before the end of the year. And what you can do is kind of, you can set up an account to log directly into your Twitch account. Super easy. 
Um, and then you can kind of configure how your webcam is going to work, so you can get your little web on your stream. I call this, this is sort of like a, a full-featured broadcasting interface that's really simple. So you got a webcam interface, small, medium, or large. You can put your face wherever you want on the picture. You can have a little indicator so you know when you're streaming, and it's super easy to know when your casting mode is on. And then you can pick your resolution, either 480, 1080p, whatever you need. Now we're going to also, what's really cool about this, is we're going to upload to Twitch at 60 frames a second. So you get a just amazing experience as a, a receiver. And it's, it's just great technology. So I think the, uh, the way to do this is show you in action. So why don't we go ahead and pull up Blacklist. And uh, this is obviously a, a, a game that's uh, really popular. It is uh, running right now at 600 frames a second, but once we get into the game, <laughs> I think we'll be uh, landing more like 120. Okay, so we've got Fraps up, and you can see right now we are just playing the game. Joe's over here playing on this PC, and uh, we're running somewhere around 120, 100 frames a second. He's actually, you know, a pretty good player, so can we just run around a little bit and see roughly the performance? Jumping up, great game all enhanced graphics. Now what I'd like you to do is turn on the casting mode. So let's go ahead and turn on shadow play. And what you'll see in the bottom right hand corner is a little green dot. That's how he's got his UI configured. So right this second, oh I'm sorry, I forgot to ask Juan to turn off the internet. So your Wi-Fi should go down right now. Is it down? You guys down? Awesome. All right, so now let's go ahead and pull up the, uh, the Twitch uh, internet window and take a look at that. So uh, what you're looking at here on the, on the Twitch side, this is actually uh, on the web right now. We're, you know, we're kind of uploading and then we're also downloading. And you can see the, the experience is pretty incredible. It's 60 frames a second. It's 720p. And the best part about it, I don't know if you've noticed, but now that we're streaming, our frames per second is still 120 frames per second. So the load on the CPU and the load on the GPU is negligible when we're streaming to Twitch. This is going to change everything. I don't know if you guys have streamed to Twitch before, but the existing technology is not at all like this. Well, it know? doesn't look anything like this. No. I mean, when you watch when you watch Twitch today, it's not, it's barely even standard definition. It, it's it's right? yeah. I don't want to be negative, but yeah, got some issues. But this rocks. Okay, so why don't we pull up uh, the caster window, and I'll show you what it looks like on uh, Joe's PC. So this is what he's seeing on his PC. This is what all of his buddies are seeing, and the entire universe, the entire world, right now, can tune in to Joe's uh, 620p transmission. So, so I'm sorry, basically, basically about a two-second lag. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, one one thousand, two one thousand, and right? it's it's just so high quality. I think people are just going to really enjoy, and it's it comes with GeForce experience. It uses Kepler and Shadowplay technology, and it's it's just a no-brainer. It's a great way to cast. That's amazing. That's fantastic. What do you guys think?